Hey, good morning, it's David here. Uh, when I go into part two, you may have seen our um, recent video about removing the second row seats. Um, this one is going to be on removing the third row seats, uh, fully removing them, so that's um, going off the rails, support bars, everything to free up all of the spaces. Uh, in our situation, we're um, working on a little camper car conversion, so we need to make room for some storage and bed and and things like that. Um, but here you go, please uh, give us a like on the video and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. All right, kind of the first step that I'm thinking of is we wanna open up these three sections and then we're gonna take out the three corresponding plastic pieces. Okay, so we're gonna start with this big plastic piece. Um, you can leave the tools in it, it'll just pop right out. Basically it has one, two, um, just little uh, plastic plugs that you just can kind of grab onto anything and just start loosening up just a little bit. Um, the pl this plastic uh, bucket itself just feels a little flimsy, so I'm not trying to rip it out with that. I don't want to take any chances of, of damaging the bin itself. But now that I've got a little cushion under there, uh, a little extra space, I can just pop it right out. What we're looking at here is just one of these little, little plastic pieces that in there. All right, let's do the same to the other side. Popped right out. And then we pull out the plastic bin. And now we're going to take out the two sides. Um, to start with, so there are four plugs connecting this side plastic uh, bin one of which is also holding on this little strip of felt next to it. So first step, deep down in the bin here, we have two screws. We're just gonna unscrew, or sorry, screw, screw caps. Um, with, as you can see, the little screws kind of protruding up from the metal beneath. All right, then next we have one bolt here, like I mentioned with the felt and the plastic, and then we have another uh, little little bolt um, here between these two plastic pieces. And these are the same plastic, uh, I'm calling it a bolt, just little plastic plugs is really all it is, um, like you saw before. So we'll start on this back one, and it's really, you can use the same technique, just kind of loosen it up a little bit so you can get your fingers under there and pull it on out. Then we're going to open this and do the same thing here. Literally just pulling it out. Great, so we've got the two. Again, that's the same, same little plastic plug as before. And then... This part gets a little tricky. I'm just kind of loosening everything up just a little bit. All right, pulling the felt out so it just connects with two. Easy to just kind of pop out pieces right there. And this is actually where it gets a little tricky. Um, just the way this plastic bin is wedged in between the car, it makes me a little nervous because I'm like, I don't want to scratch up the side of the car. Um, We're trying to enter a camper. This is true, this is true. Okay, so let's see. First, and I'm kind of just playing around with it, I'm just gonna pop that out just to get it, um, to get it up over it. And then it's kind of a pain, this piece, it has a little piece that kind of sticks up under this felt, which is what's given us the challenge. So kind of what loosens it up, I guess, pulling. Really just kind of, there we go, there we go. All right, so now we've got the back piece out. We've got the left side of, um, left side bin. And now we're gonna take out the right side bin here. It's same principle as the left, but just a little bit different. Um, first step, this is where the Highlander comes with the um, tire jack, so we'll just take this out. And 
we'll take off one of the same types of bolt, uh, types of plugs as before. Open this side, pop off the little felt plug. And just pop out the little felt piece, same as the other side. Um, then we'll come back here. And again, this is the one where this plastic piece also pops off. Um, obviously, we want it to stay with the car, but but need to pop it up so that we can get this up and over. And then we can just pop pop this back piece right back down. Well, we'll be putting it back in. Yeah. Sure. And so here, is back to like before, really just trying to kind of wiggle it out without scratching the side. And again, I like to kind of pick up this. I think it gives a little more slack to the center piece and it helps wedge it out or can come and really just try and bend the plastic up over it. That works too. And there we go. And hey, next step, dump out all the trash that's accumulated in there, huh? All right, so now we've got each of the three plastic bins out that are kind of in the way blocking us from um, the actual metal uh, pieces that we need to, to pull up. Um, so we need three different size socket wrenches for this. We need 10 millimeter, 12 mil millimeter, and 14 millimeter to get out uh, five total um, screws down here. So, I'll just start with the 10, and we have two 10 millimeter pieces. Um, all right, barely cleared. Alright, so now we have this mostly unhooked, um, and now I've just kind of pulled this up off those two 10 millimeter screws that we pulled the nuts off of, and that helps to expose back here uh, another 14 millimeter uh, bolt to pull out. Now This whole bar that, yeah, there you go. So this whole bar kind of extends. Um, we've got the seat able to pull out now. Um, the seat belt was attached, but remember this piece that we unbolted from below? You simply got to pull, um, make sure you undo the, the seats so that they're, they're in the upright position even though we've got them kind of tugged back here. Um, and just pull the seat belt out. That stays with the car. And same on the side. Or actually I guess you could just... Yeah, there we go. Same on the side, just pulled it out. And now, we can fold our seat back. And pull it out. It's a little bit awkward, it does have these three 
three pieces of course you've got the seat back the seat bottom and then this back piece that's really just connected by by this kind of thin material so i really don't want it to rip off but it's probably not the end of the world if it does 